Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's video. Day 10 will take us to the 19th of October and we'll be able to set up beyond that with the CFS and ECM ensembles. They're running to around a couple of weeks. Have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us into early November. I'll get some of that for you in a moment. Just to say, there was a 6 a.m. forecast today. We backed off on those a little bit. We've gone very quiet at the moment. So uh, we'll pick those back up. Uh, probably when things start to liven up uh, a little bit. But at the moment, we're just, we're just chasing around cloud, <laughs> which isn't very exciting. Won't generate much in the way of interest. So, um, yeah, we'll pick that back up. But I may do one, like, um, tonight or tomorrow night, I'll see. But generally, we'll pick the 6 10 forecast back up when weather starts livening uh, up a bit. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. Right, OK, well, let's start off uh, in the subtropical Atlantic. Two interest areas, yellow X up here, disturbance. One, I uh, don't have to worry much about that. They've got trouble, trouble uh, storm Jerry, give maximum to say winds of uh, 65 miles per hour just there. Clicking on Jerry and going here. We can see uh, this is going to, or predicted anyway, to become a hurricane by the end of the week as it moves northwards. Now, if we go to uh, discussion. Uh, we can see that this is going to be a Category 1 hurricane, if the uh, prediction is correct, with maximum sustained winds in 72 and 96 hours of 85 miles per hour. We'll keep you updated. Ladies and gentlemen, from Earth, NoSchool.net shows that high pressure is dominating the weather, sitting over and to west southwest country, low pressures away to the north, winds coming in uh, from a westerly direction up there. Um, so these west winds dragging a lot of cloud into the anti cyclone, unfortunately. So not a clear high, it's a cloudy high. And uh, so we're chasing around cloud, but at least it's mild anyway. So I've got that going for it, I guess. Central in temperature is currently sitting at 13.3. That's 2.8 degrees above 61 to 99 average provisionals yesterday to the 8th of October. So for the first week of the month, uh, about 3 degrees above the old and cold 61 to 90 average. Bs of the GFS upper air temperature observation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. Looking at London today, the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London. So we're starting off above average with the upper air temperatures at the moment. We're going to see them coming down a bit when we go into next week, but still generally uh, above average. It's quite a mild uh, scene that we've got going on there. As we're looking towards the third week of October, that here onwards, we do see quite a lot of scatter. Mild ensemble members up here, colder ensemble members down there. So a bit of uncertainty as we look out from the third week into the fourth week of October. Precipitation-wise, loads of dry weather to come over the uh, next 10 days. But we could well see things turning more unsettled uh, as we go further on through the third week and into the final week of month. That's like I said, range is unreliable. Um, and certainly, like, the next 10 days, anyway, looking pretty much completely dry there uh, for London. Temperature anomaly. It's like five days, a little bit above average. 10 to 14 day temperature anomaly about average. And mean precipitation anomaly for the next seven days. Significantly drier than normal. 8 to 14 day precipitation normally is also coming out on the dry side too. Right, well, let's start going from chart day. Let me see the latest UK make your run. Looking for big night on Sunday. High and dry. High pressure in control. Dominating the weather through weekend and into uh, next week as well. High pressure is in control and in the ascendancy. I can't again with high pressure dominating the scene throughout next week. Uh, no sign of any change in that high pressure. But I think we probably will import drier and um, the clear air into the high bow. So we cut off a westerly flow, but we've got going on at the moment. We are having more of a continental influence, I think, next week. So hopefully we'll see skies brightening and at least we'll be able to have some uh, sunny spells, even if the night's term, uh, a bit co uh, cooler and misting. Uh, right, well, the KMA looks like that. Again, high pressure is in control 
throughout next week. Signs by the end of next week, though, but high pressure going into a retrograde with KMA moving towards uh, Greenland and Iceland, potentially pulling in uh, some uh, northerly or northeasterly influences. So, could be starting to see hints of uh, things turning colder through the third week of October. Of course, we would clear away the anti cyclonic gloom, uh, but uh, yeah, we might be seeing a hint there from the KMA of colder northerly winds. Well, moving on to GFS. My computer's making a very strange noise. <laughs> I hope it's all right. Um, can you hear that rumbling away? Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, uh, GFS with tight run. Here we go. High pressure, dominating the weather, and in control throughout next week. By the end of next week, though, into the weekend of the 18th, 19th of October, high pressure starting to slip away to the east with low pressure developing out to the west. So by day 10 we're into a rather more unsettled pack with a warm southerly wind but low pressure started to bring some rain in from the west. And then the extended turning properly unsettled. We break down the high pressure, dark push areas of low pressure through there. So a big change for the third week of uh, October. But GFS 6Z in comparison again high pressure is dominating weather through the weekend and into Next week, high pressure remains in control all the way up to day 10, sitting over top of the country in the extended but GFS 6 z Keeps that high pressure going, actually. So not until the very end of the GFS 6 z but we start to break that ridge down and bring some lower pressure. It'll be a very, very prolonged dry spell that we see there from the GFS 6 z We'll see. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment, let's what you think about this and all our videos and content and don't forget to tell your friends about guys well and and get them to subscribe too and thank you so much everyone for doing that about 25 subscribers will get to get us to uh 19 well uh, 20 point 6k what are you talking about gal 20.6k so go get yourself that'd be awesome thank you so so much everyone right gm again with high pressure over the country through the weekend and into uh, next week, we are high and dry throughout next week. High pressure by day 10, trying to go into uh, a retro. Oh, hang on, Matt. Oh, no, we don't want that. That's Tuesday's big night. Uh, blimey. Goodness gracious me. Let's go here. Don't want that. Don't want the big night run for Tuesday. Where are we going? We're going down to G GMCMC. That was a save, wasn't it? That was a save from Gab. It was a Gab moment, though. <laughs> Classic Gab moment. Now, this is right. Yes, 9th of October. Right, okay. GM, that didn't happen. GM, uh, with high pressure dominating the weather through next week and staying in control as well. All the way up to day 10, we're high and dry on the GM. On the GEM. Uh, midnight run there to the 19th of October. Bit of a gab moment. Uh, hey, gab strikes again. <laughs> uh, I mean, you see, I've rounds it all off with high pressure in control. I did be a sentence. Through uh, next week, we are high and dry until the end of next week. And then the ridge breaks down. No pressure start to take over. I mean, each of our overall output turns properly unsettled there with the dartboard setting up by Monday, the 20th of October. Deep low sitting over top country at 970 uh, millibars and then below moves out into north here we pull down this cooler uh northerly northwesterly for lower pressure starts edging back in from the atlantic again switching from windaroo southwesterly by next friday 24 of October. So becoming milder there with uh, the uh, East Jam at the very end, but still looking a bit changeable. Will the third week of October break the unsettled spell? Well, this is a precipitation forecast based on that East Jam run from Tibet.com all the way up, up to um, day 10. And it uh, looks uh, mainly dry until we get to the very end and make some bands of rain, some areas of wet weather starting to move up from the south and from the southwest. Then, these are the table in the ECM on Sunday day four day ten from the Icelandic Met Office gets to 19th of October. 25 members of the ECM on Sundays have high pressure out to west northwest, mostly dry but a bit chilly. Winds coming in from the northeast. We've got 19 with high pressure towards Greenland and to our east, low pressure out southwest, up in wind up more of a southerly direction. And then we've got seven with high pressure right over the top of the country. 
Uh, it's time these are the options that we've got, and it gets us to the 24th of October. 32 members of the East Hamilton then have uh, low pressure taking over right over top of the country with a bit of blocking up towards green. That's a cool and wet pattern. A minority option of 19 keep high, keeps the high pressure uh, going. So it looks as though high pressure is still just about in chart day 10, but by day 14, that anti-cyclone could well have broken down and we could well be into something more changeable. We shall see. CFSB2, and then we're done. These are 500 middle bar high to bring down into week periods. The first week period takes from the 9th to 15th of October. The next week with high pressure right over top of the country. Week 2 is going to be the uh, 16th to 22nd of uh, October. High pressure going into retrograde, bringing it towards Greenland. Starting to bring in a cooler northeasterly wind bend, potentially, but still mainly dry. Week 3 will be the uh, 23rd to 29th of October, low pressure then takes over. So big change into uh, the final week of October there with uh, low pressure through the north of West Europe, much more unsettled, quite cool as well potentially, certainly for the northern half of the country with uh, winds coming in from a northerly direction. And then week four, another change, and this is quite interesting, this is going to be the 30th of uh, October, uh, October 5th of November, and signs then of high pressure building between Iceland and Norway, which will bring the wind around to an easterly direction. And we're going to November there, so easterlies in November are probably going to start having quite a chill to them. Uh, so that could be quite a cold start to November. Not snow cold, but you know, not get to winter cold, but probably quite chilly start anyway, uh, with the risk of some overnight frost and whatnot. Long way off though, four weeks away, so uh, we shall see and time will tell. Right, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe, thank you, share, for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you and all my videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Movies and get them to subscribe too. And we thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Tomorrow, we're going to have a 10 to 14 day. I'll try to get Jamie for you done for you uh, as well tomorrow. Keep checking back to the channel for more. For this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.